I'm sexy and I know it. I'm sexy and I know it. We're doing a pentagonary prism. By the way, it's surface area pentagonary, pentagon, whatever. All right, so what? First, we're going to do a square, which is an 11 by 9. And 11 times 9 is 99. So there's five squares in this formula we're doing. So that times 5 equals, give me a second, 4, 90. Four ninety. Now that looks like a crap of five. Yes. All right. And so for this one, the formula is yeah one half um, apothem times perimeter, and the perimeter in this is eleven times nine, which is fifty-five. Times the aphthalm, which is 7.6 times 0.5 equals I don't know. Give me a second. All right. So. 0.5 times 7.6 times 55 is 209, and there's two of those, so you times that by 2, which gives you 4, 18, and then come over here and I'm running out of time, 4, 18 plus 4, 95. Which will give you nine thirteen. Is the answer. I got. All right. To find the volume of a pentagonal prism, you have to find the area. And the area, and you use this formula to find the area. One half aphthalm times bay, the perimeter. And the aphthalm is five point five and the perimeter is 8 times 5, which is 40. <coughs> and that gives you... Uh, 110. And then, you take this answer and multiply it times the height of the pentagonal, pentagonal whatever, prism thing, which is 7. And that gives you seven seventy. Right. And that's how you find pretagonal prisms. Alright, to find the volume of a cone, you gotta do V equals 1 pi r squared times the height. Alright, you gotta start now. So, the radius is 4, you gotta put 4 right there. And 7 is the height. And then, yeah, just add it in the calculator. Alright, to find a surface area of a cone, you gotta do this formula, which is surface area equals pi r slant plus pi r squared. Then you gotta
gotta find the numbers. We go into R, the radius, and it's like the it's like how it goes big. Now, this is the diameter, so you gotta break it in half, make it a radius, and that's you do 20 divided by 2, which equals 10. So that's where the 10 comes in. And you come up here and do the slant height. This is the slant height. This is the slant height. Comes in, put it right there. And you just add it up. And that equals 1017.87. And that's how you find the surface area of a cup. I'm sexy and I know it. I'm sexy and I know it. I'm sexy and I know it. Okay, finding the pyramid formula. Find the area of the base. One half times three times four equals six. I got three because three is the base and four is the height. Okay. Use this number in the volume formula for the pyramid. Six is base because you got these two because you solve this equation now, it gives you six. Four, because you still use it as the height. And you have three. Three is divided by the pyramid. Because pyramid is one third of a prism. And a prism pyramid is base times height. But a pyramid volume is base times height over three. So you just plug that in, into your formula. Volume times six times four divided by three gives you the volume of eight. And that gives you the answer. The area of a surface angle. Okay, just turn it right here. The base is 6, because this represents a long end, 5.2, and the height is 5.3 on a different triangle, right here. Okay, to find it, you have to times it by all the sides of that triangle. So you do 5.3, 5.3, 5.3, times 6, and it gives you... 47.7 okay and then you times 5.2 times 6 and it gives you 15.6 and then to get the answer you add 47.7 times I mean not times 47 plus 7 plus 15.6 equals 1 one, one, my bad. 63.6. And that should give you the answer. Oh, I, I love you like